What is going on guys? Alan here. Welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful 50 degree fall day here in western Michigan. Um, 50 degrees right now feels amazing because uh, the last couple of days have been like 30s and 40s. So I'll take this any day in the fall, um, especially in November right now. So, But anyway, enough of that. Uh, today's video, I am going to show you how to make your push button vehicle shut off going down the road. Why you'd want to do that? I don't know, but I'm going to teach you. <laughs> but I'm going to teach you how. Let's get to it. So Ford does everything in their power to prevent you from actually stopping the vehicle going down the road. But, you know, it's different nowadays. Um, like my wife's Fusion, I did a video, if you guys didn't see that, check that out right here. I did a video of, uh, you know, taking the key out of the ignition while you're going down the road and what happens. Um, this one's a little different, you know, you can force a key out of the ignition, obviously. Um, here, a push button start, they program the vehicle so when you're driving down the road, you can't actually shut that ignition off. Um, and I, believe me, I tried it. So before I tried it, um, below 25 miles an hour, and then I did another test above 25 miles an hour, and that did not stop the truck. Under 25 did. So once I get to this test, something really weird happens but anyway so I knew it wouldn't shut off going down the road uh, so it's really funny because uh, my family and I were on our way back from somewhere and we were going down the road and somehow the subject came off of shutting it off I think maybe because I did the video with her car and I pretended to push the button on the truck and my wife's like, oh no, don't do that. Don't do that going down the road. You know, there's cars in front of us, behind us, whatever. We're only going like 30, you know, down the city road here. Um, so I wanted to be smart and dramatic. So I started hitting that button. And uh, <laughs> that's how I found out um, the sequence to be able to shut this ignition off going down the road. So without further ado, let's hop in the F-150 here and let me show you how I actually did it. So first test, we are 24 miles an hour, there we go. Nothing. 24 miles an hour, it stays going. 24 miles an hour does not stop. Let's try 20. It doesn't stop either. So I know this is, it's, it, what's really weird is I know it used to stop. You could shut this off below 25 miles an hour. I know you could because I did it weird now is it's not that way so we'll get up to speed here do another test all right going 45 nothing press it twice nothing twice three times one two three Neutral, brake, starts back up. So, push that button three times in a row, and you can make this bad boy stop. All right, we're going to 57, one, two, three. Neutral, start. So I'll get it back down to a slower speed. Because I know I shut it off before. 
know I did. And it was below 25 and it worked, so I have no idea what changed, to be honest with you. So, 45, 57, 70, so far, same results. You gotta hit the button three times to shut it off. Okay, we're going 12. Nothing. Nothing, literally nothing. I know I could get that shut off before. Well, there you have it gotta push the button three times I guess to get it to work um, so what kind of knowledge does that bring you done <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to shut your vehicle off going down the road but you could I guess if you wanted to so like I said in closing, I don't know why, you know, it, maybe there's an emergency where you need to shut your vehicle off going down the road. Um, so, just for peace of mind, that's how you do it. Um, hopefully, you know, don't sit there and try it at home and cause an accident or whatever. But, um, yeah, if it shuts off, really quick, shift your uh, transmission into neutral. Hold down the brake just a little bit. Um, and then hit that start button and she'll fire right back up. So hopefully this was a fun video for you guys and educational. And until we meet again, I will see you until we meet again. Later. I am going to show you how I pull into this little tiny garage. First, got to fold in the mirrors. Or else the walls will take them off. And then I just get it in. So the mirror's clear, put them back out, because now I need to look and make sure I'm clearing the door handles on both sides, because I have put white paint on these door handles. So you can see, I got enough room there. Come over here, I got enough room there. We good, and then I just creep in and uh, try not to hit the golf cart, but it's uh, shaky, just learning how to do it. But after you get used to it, like a glove. All right, so that's that side. Tight. Let me click the light on here. <laughs> and that's that side. And yes, I did manage to get the golf cart in here. And it just fits. So, like I said, it's close, but it works. Not worth moving to a different house for a bigger garage, I'll tell you that. She fits.